Thanks for checking out this video. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going on with the Shutter Horror Streaming Service for the month of July. And actually there's another update just before I get into that. And that's that they're working on, I don't know if anyone had seen the Horror Noir documentary that was about black horror. Uh, really good documentary, I highly recommend it. Actually I should probably do like a full on review of it. But yeah, really great documentary, highly recommend it. Now they are commissioning to have for Shutter made a queer horror documentary, so all queer cinema in horror. Uh, and speaking of that, currently available on Shutter streaming is Knife and Heart, which is a queer giallo film, a modern giallo film, because I think it's from a, it was a 2018 film. So I did actually did a no spoilers review for it. Go check that out and see if that's your thing. I thought it was worth seeing, so check it out. Okay, so that uh, out of the way, let's talk about what's happening in July. This is July 1st when I'm putting this up, so sorry. July already started one of these films. I think maybe a few are already out, but I'll give you the dates. So they have a few that they're kind of like featuring, like really look for these. We're very proud of these, and then I'll go through the other ones. Some of them I'll read the review or the uh, little synopsis of, but some I won't. Like The Shining is in there. I'm going to tell you. Nobody needs to know what The Shining is about. I'm going to skip that one. Put down in the comments if you're a person who needs to hear the synopsis of The Shining, because shame on you. No, I mean, it's okay, but it's not okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Some of the, some Shudder original movies. Party Hard, Die Young is the 2018 film. Uh, school's out, so Julia, her friends, and thousands of fellow graduates are on their way to an island resort in Croatia. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. And it's supposed to be the party of their lives. The harmless fun soon turns deadly serious when julia's friend is killed and it probably wasn't an accident definitely makes me want to uh watch it it kind of reminds me a little bit of the premise behind eli ross hostel film so and if that's the case i'm down uh and that is july 3rd is when that's available so july 18th available dead detectives another 2018 flick uh, I think it's a show. Uh, a team of hapless reality TV ghost hunters experience true paranormal activity for the first time while filming a make-or-break episode in the Most Haunted Mansion in Mexico. Facing cancellation on the one hand and supernatural entities on the other, the group must figure out a way to bust the ghosts, deliver the episode of a lifetime, and escape with their lives intact. Mm, I, I I might pass on that one just because I'm not big into the whole ghost hunting thing. I think... I'm actually not that big into like ghost films in general, that subgenre of horror, but specifically like ghost hunting shows and stuff like that. So uh, I might skip on that one. All right, June 24th. So available right now when this is coming out, they lumped it in with the July because sometimes they, they don't get them all in for that month or they have some they end up adding at the end of that month and then they just rolled over. So available June 24th. So right now, Stranger by the Lake. Frank spends, uh, it's a 2013 film, Stranger by the Lake. Frank spends his summer days hopelessly searching for companionship at a popular cruising spot on the shores of a lake in rural France. One day he meets Michel, an attractive yet darkly mysterious man, and falls blindly in love. When a death occurs, Frank and Michel become the primary suspects, but they choose to ignore the dangers and instead of continue to engage in their passionate and potentially lethal relationship. Okay, July 1st, so right now, I'm excited about this one because this is a film I've been wanting to watch, I've heard good things about, and it has Alice Cooper in it from what I hear, along with Donald Pleasance. Uh, Prince of Darkness, a 1987 John Carpenter film. We all love John Carpenter. Uh, when a physics professor and his research stu students are asked to come to an old abandoned church, they don't expect to find a large glass canister of swirling green liquid. Who would? As their investigation continues, they uncover the shocking truth. The ooze is really the essence of the devil himself, and the students have disturbed his slumber. They must fight together to keep Satan and his minions at bay and prevent him from bringing about the apocalypse. Yeah, I've heard good things. I really want to see it. Plus, it's John Carpenter. Come on, man. Who's not going to want to see some John Carpenter? So I'm going to check that out. Then we have The Shining from 1980. 1980 a stanley kubrick film i'm not going to read the synopsis for that just watch it it is literally 
uh, one of my favorite all-time horror films. Actually, maybe one of my favorite all-time films. I don't even need to say horror, just films. Uh, the next one is Vault of Horror. It's a 1973 film. Trapped in the basement vault of an office building, five men recount macabre visions of vampires, voodoo, and more. From Amicus, the legendary British house of horror which pioneered the anthology, comes five classic tales of terror based on original legendary EC comics. Okay, that sounds good. I like anthology stuff, and I do like diving into older horror films and older horror shows and stuff like that, so I think I'll have to check this one out, Vault of Horror. Coming July 8th, Stakeland and Stakeland 2. I have seen Stakeland. I enjoyed it. I've heard Stakeland 2 takes a bit of a step back, but is still decent. So Stakeland is from 2010. Martin was a normal teenage boy before the country collapsed in an empty pit of economic and political disaster. Still could happen at any time for anyone. A vampire epidemic has swept across what is left of the nation's abandoned towns and cities, and it's up to Mr., a death-dealing rogue vampire hunter, to get Martin safely north to Canada, the continent's new Eden. Okay? Then Stakeland 2, which came out in 2016. Martin finds himself alone in the badlands of America after his home is destroyed. With only a distant memory of his vampire-hunting mentor, Mr., to guide him, Roaming the wilderness of a steadily decaying country, Martin goes in search of the one man who can help him get revenge. Okay. Um, I might check out Stakeland 2. I just liked the first Stakeland. If I have time, maybe I'll dive into Stakeland 2. But there are a lot of sh movies and shows on Shudder at the moment I really want to get to, so that one will just take a back seat. July 15th, we have the film All the Colors of the Dark, a 1972 film. The luscious Edwig Finesh gives the performance of her career as a woman tormented by visions of satanic violence, hallucinatory horror, and psychosexual insanity. That sounds awesome. That, although it also sounds like it could be like over-promising with that synopsis. But I, yeah, I want to check that out. All the colors of the dark. Okay. Yeah, that sounds crazy. And the last one I have on here that they sent out in their uh, press release July 22nd, The Transfiguration, which is a 2016 film. Set in Queens, this atmospheric drama focuses on 14-year-old Milo, a troubled outsider who takes refuge in the vampire mythology he studies to the point of obsession. When a chance encounter with neighbor Sophie leads him to develop new romantic feelings, Milo struggles to suppress his dark urges and a terrible secret. Um, that sounds like it could be decent. I might check that one out. So, yeah, um, I think I'm pretty sure that was it. But, uh, yeah, I um, would let's get comments. So let's get some comments down here. I've already told you what I'm excited about. I really want to watch uh, see Prince of Darkness. And what were the other ones that I said? Prince of Darkness was one that's a must for me. All the Colors of the Dark sounds really good. I'm definitely going to try and hit that one up. Uh, Vault of Horror also sounds really good to me. I'm going to try and do that one. Um, and I think those are my main ones. Oh, and Party Hard Die Young kind of sounds interesting, especially if it's a hostile type thing. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, are you guys excited for what's uh, going on in July with Shudder? Go ahead and put some comments down here. What is What are you looking forward to of the ones I just read off? What are you definitely going to check out? Are there any you're just like, nah, I don't think... I'm going to pass. Have you seen any of them and can say yay or nay on them right now just to give me that heads up? That would be appreciated. So put that comment down there. Give me a like on this video if you enjoyed it at all. Uh, really subscribe, though. Please, please subscribe and spread the word. If you know people who like movie reviews, no spoiler horror movie reviews especially, but still in depth while being no spoiler, let them know about this channel. I really appreciate that. And get people to subscribe. And you should subs subscribe. Sorry. <laughs> you should subscribe. Because if you like any of my videos, that's the best way to say thank you. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. I can't wait to go watch these movies. And I can't wait to see what Shutter's doing in August. So thank you. And keep it brutal.